Stephen, just congratulations on a fantastic career. Um, an emotional day, I'm sure, and just put into words the last 20 or so years and, and why this decision's come now. Yeah, it's a strange sensation today, ultimately. Uh, this has been back in my mind for a, a little while now, just with the nature of the injury and my age and, and everything, but obviously hopefully you'll get back to play and f finish on a high, but I think uh, probably about four weeks ago, um, I did some testing and realised that I was still a little bit away, so that's been uh, in my thought process. And I think the time, it feels like the time's right. I'm comfortable with it, but it's still a bit of a weird sensation today. And listen, it's all I've ever known. Um, it's all I've ever wanted to do, and I've been very fortunate to have the career that I've had. Yeah, just describe your two spells here at Rangers, what you've won along the way, but most importantly, the teammates that you've shared those experiences with as well. Yeah, of course. There's, there's so many things. It's like obviously, in the back of my head, the day was coming. So. There's a lot of different emotions and thoughts go through your head about previous experiences and I'm all, my mind's almost a bit foggy because of it and it's, um, I remember obviously coming in 2008 and the end of the transfer window and then we had that incredible run in Europe and that took us to Manchester and obviously my first experience of playing in Europe, getting my first goal in Europe, winning my first trophy, um, so yeah, just an incredible experience but as soon as I came to the club it felt like home. And settled in really well. We had a great bunch of lads there, obviously, on, under Walter and his management team as well. Just a great atmosphere around the place, and um, thankfully, over the next few years, and that first spell went on to have a lot of success. And just memories, like you say, those moments you share with each other in the dressing room, uh, behind the scenes, the work that goes in, just the, the dedication you have to show and the ups and downs throughout the season to get that success come the end of the season. It's such a special time. And the connection, obviously, that you've shared with the Rangers supporters along the way. I mean. It's been really special in so many ways, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been incredible from the very first moment I walked through the door. Um, I feel like they've got behind me, they've supported me, they've listened to you obviously through your career and I've been here for over nine years, so it's you're going to have bad moments within that there, but I've always felt that support and, uh, behind me and that, I'm forever thankful for that there. Um, listen, the, the fans pushed us on as players and they have done throughout my time here at the club to really go and have that, that success and when you do have that, that success, it's very much the, the two married together, um, so it's incredible. Like I, I don't feel like I ever took for granted walking out of Ibrox and walking down that tunnel because it's such a special stadium. Obviously, growing up as a Rangers fan as well, it's something I always wanted to do and to do it as many times as I have. I feel um, very grateful and thankful. But obviously, there's been a lot of hard work and dedication going on to, to achieve what I've achieved. Yeah, you mentioned there, obviously, growing up as a Rangers fan then going on to represent the club, win all the silverware you did. You did, you did. I mean, it's really the stuff of dreams, isn't it? It is. I would like to have one more. I felt we should have one more, um, especially in the, the second spell. But uh, unfortunately, that's football. There's, there's highs and lows, and um, but it's been it's been an incredible journey to get to two European Cup finals, to win the trophies that I have, and have those moments with the fans and with, within the dressing room with your family after the game, and you've you achieved something. It's just such a special football club, and um, I'm certainly going to miss it. That goes without saying. Um, but I've had an incredible time here. If you could pick one moment from your Rangers career, what would it be? Couldn't possibly pick one. There's been too many, too many special moments, as I say. Um, the journeys to the European Cup finals, winning the, the league at different times, the last game of the seasons, uh, in the manner that we did three consecutive years, and obviously coming back and then getting 55 together when there was a lot of pressure on the club. and. Um, First trophy for, for a lot of the boys as well, and just sharing that together. Um, yeah, there's been there's been far too too many to, to just pick out one, but um, I just feel very fortunate that I've been able to play for my boyhood club, and it's been such a special club, and it's about the people around the building as well that you forge relationships as well, and I'm certainly going to miss everybody. Yeah, and obviously on the international stage as well, representing Northern Ireland, becoming the most capped British player in history. Just to sum up the memories that you enjoyed in the international stage as well. Yeah, I think when you're growing up, ultimately you, you want to play for your boyhood club, you want to play for your country. I had ambitions to play in the Premier League. I've managed to do do all three. Um, I never expected my career to last as long as it has and um, play for my country as many times as I have. It's been an incredible journey. Um, plenty of highs and lows within the international um, career as well, but it's just been just been an amazing, amazing experience. As I've always enjoyed going away with the international setup and, and being together with the boys and. Uh, obviously that culminated in us qualifying for Euros in 2016 and memories that they'll cherish forever and will last with me forever. Yeah, is it good as well that this decision does provide some clarity and can now go and enjoy more time with the family and the kids as well? 
Yeah, I think so. I haven't decided in terms of what I'm going to do moving forward. It was obviously an unbelievable experience to come in and get the interim manager job, even though it was very short-lived, and then work alongside Philippe uh, whenever he came in. And at, at that point, I wanted to have a real crack about in terms of doing my rehab and giving myself the best opportunity to get back and play. Unfortunately, that hasn't unfolded the way I, quite the way I would have liked, but I felt like I needed to do that to give myself some closure. And I think in the immediate um, future right now, it's just about spending a bit of time with the family taking up some opportunities that um, I'm sure will present themselves and, and then figuring out what way to go and obviously get started with my coaching badges as well and, and then look to uh, go down that path. Yeah, and just lastly, I'm sure it will be on the lips of every fan, but can you see yourself back here one day in some capacity? I certainly hope so. As I said, it's such a special place for me and my family because we spent so much time here and have so many special memories here. Um, as I say, I'm, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to be back watching the boys, supporting them. Wishing them every success for the, for the future and hopefully they can go on and have more success after getting that first trophy of the season already. And um, I think they're on the right path and just need to, need to keep that determination within the group and keep pushing each other on a daily basis. And hopefully um, there'll be more good moments to share together. But yeah, um, although I'm leaving, I'm sure I'll never be too far away. And listen, who knows what the future holds in, in terms of a position at the club.